Good morning. I am today doing a quick review, hopefully, on Daisy Oh So Fresh Twinkle. This one is discontinued, so if you don't like reviews of fragrances that aren't as easy to find, then you probably want to go and find another video to watch because this one is discontinued. However, it's not mega hard to find. I found this on eBay quite easily, and I'm sure you can find them on things like eBay, Macari, Depop, not to mention some online retailers, uh, some discounters still have it, I think. So it's not that difficult to find. So oh so fresh twinkle. I don't know what the notes are at the moment. I will get those for you. It does remind me of the original oh so fresh. So if you know how that one smells, then it's not a million miles away from that. I don't now have that to compare it to, but I used to wear it. I wore it for several years. I got through quite a few bottles, so I'm quite familiar with it. But this has kind of more extra layers to it, if that makes sense. When, it, when you spray it on, it's quite um, quite effervescent. Not exactly fizzy like aldehydes, but definitely has almost like a sherbet-like feel to it. It's a a rich fruitiness, so I'm thinking dark red and black berries or fruits like that, but it's not really, really dark. They're still fresh. So maybe even things like lychee. It's not peach-like. It's not sickly. It feels like there's probably citruses amongst it all. Ooh, that was a bee. <laughs> a bee landed on my hand, but... I I didn't know what it was. If, if I'd known it was a bee, I would have left it there. But I kind of sh I shook my hand because I just felt something land on my hand. So, but I love bees. Um, yeah, so the fragrance is, is kind of fizzy like sherbet, a little bit citrus sweet in the background, a little bit sherbet like, very fruity and floral. So it's kind of like, it's a fruity floral, you know, it's uh, it's a popular smelling fragrance. It's not mega, mega unusual and groundbreaking, but it also it doesn't smell like everything else. It doesn't have any kind of obvious caramel gourmand elements. I don't even know if there's any vanilla. If there is, it's understated. It's more about the fruitiness and the floralness, but it's very fun and frivolous. So we'll come back in a bit. Right then we are two hours in now and I've looked up the notes and there are quite a simple note listing. You have raspberry in the top, violet and rose in the mid and cassis and whipped cream in the base. I think there's more going on in here than is let on. So it starts off sparkling in a kind of fizzy sherbetty way and it's fruity in red and pink fruits and then it kind of it's quite fresh and vibrant it's a very youthful fragrance it's the kind of thing i would really only wear during the day and on a very uh light-hearted missions shall we say i would wear it to meet up with friends to go shopping that kind of stuff. I've actually had a reflexology treatment today. So that was absolutely amazing. Really, really nice. So um had my feet worked on and it was really good. And I could smell this. I had to wear a mask, but I still could smell this coming up a little bit from my body. So quite good in terms of the scent performance, I think, for quite a light fragrance. It's gone into a slightly different phase where you can actually get a little bit of that creaminess from the whipped cream, but don't expect full on gourmand here. The whipped cream is a, is a subtle hint at whipped cream. It's not full on in your face whipped cream. And I think the cassis, which is a black currant, is kind of subtle blended in with everything. I feel there's a hint of something green in here, almost like it's not just black currant, but maybe a little tiny bit of the black currant bush. I sprayed the fragrance off camera. I sprayed quite a lot all up my arms, front and back. So I almost treated it like a body spray. And I think that's the way to go with something that's fresh and light like that. 
I get better, I notice it a lot more from around here. And I feel like there's a tiny bit of a clean white musk in the background. If we're going to list it as powdery, I don't think it's mega powdery. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't put it in a list of powdery scents. Yeah, it's quite smooth now. It's like a, so it's not fizzy anymore. It's like the, uh, the whipped cream and the fruits blended together. A little bit of white musk, a tiny, tiny merest hint of green, just giving it a spark, giving it a contrast. So it's not just all sweet. And it's fresh, but not in a, not in a citrusy way. It's fresh in a fruity way still, even though there's a little bit of a creaminess too. Very simplistic, not too much really to say about it, but let's see if anything else happens and we'll check on the performance in a bit. Hi, ah, yeah, so now we are, what are we? About six, five or six hours into the wearing. I'm getting light whiffs of it still. So I think for a light designer fragrance, the performance is absolutely fine, if not pretty good for something that's a little bit fresh. It hasn't really done much. The only thing I'm noticing is I think there's a touch of a clean musky woods in the background. Possibly Isoe Super, but I don't specifically smell Isoe Super. I just feel like I smell a really light, clean, musky woodsiness underneath everything that is probably helping it to cling on as well as it has done. And that's really about all I can tell you about it. It's a really nice fruity fragrance, fresh and uplifting, fun, young, energetic, a great daytime scent. I have to admit to you now, I've had two gins. <laughs> so I've been experimenting with my new gin and um, sitting in the garden. It's a day off, you know, I can do what I want, sitting in the garden, doing a little bit of work on my laptop, but for the most part, kind of relaxing. I feel quite relaxed now. I've had a couple of gins. Gin's the way forward. Gin is the future. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon.